Hey everyone, welcome back to Tan's Top 10 channel. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the movies and TV shows that I was able to pick up during Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and a few that I picked up in before that and after that. So today's basically just a big uh, Blu-ray 4K collection update video. So the first uh, category of movies I'm going to show you guys are movies I picked up from the Criterion collection. Um, I got quite a few of them. There was a really good, I think they were 50% off sale. So uh, Criterion movies are pretty expensive. So for them to be 50% off, uh, I wanted to grab a couple of these. So, And since there's so many movies in, that I'm going to be talking about in this video, um, I'm not going to go into too much detail on every single movie. Some of them I'm just going to show you what I got and keep moving on. So, all right. So the first movies that I picked up in the Criterion collection were three Charlie Chaplin movies. I got The Great Dictator, Modern Times, and City Lights. Um, I have never watched any Charlie Chaplin movies uh, fully all the way through. Um, in college, I think we watched a little bit of City Lights, I believe. But I've heard all three of these movies are amazing. Um, I'm really excited to check out The Great, Great Dictator, especially, but uh, yeah. Three Charlie Chaplin movies. These are all from like 30s, so really old movies, but I'm really, really excited to check them out. I also picked up 12 Angry Men, a movie that I watched about halfway through on Amazon, and then my uh, connection got interrupted, so I didn't get to finish it, but uh, I have really enjoyed what I saw from this movie. It's one of the best movies ever made, and I'm so excited to uh, finish it and check it out again. This next bunch of movies I have not seen yet, but I'm um, excited to check them out. In the Heat of the Night, Best Picture winner, Broadcast News, On the Waterfront with Marlon Brando, uh, The Before Trilogy by Richard Linklater. I heard this is one of the better trilogies of all time, uh, so I heard it's really good. Seven Samurai, one of the, hailed as one of the best movies of all time. Um, Akira, Akira Kurosawa, I have not watched this yet. Um, this movie is over three hours long, almost about almost three and a half hours long, but I'm really excited to check this one out, especially. Um, that was one of the guarantee pickups that I needed from uh, Criterion. And last, but certainly not least, the, my final uh, pickup from the Criterion collection, The Irishman, Martin Scorsese's masterpiece from last year. Um, I watched this last year on Netflix when it first came out, and this movie is awesome. It's got some of the best performances from Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci, who I think steals the movie. He's so damn good in this. He came out of retirement just for this movie. One of his best performances of all time. And Al Pacino. All three give perfect performances. It's a really good movie. Awesome crime epic. Uh, please check it out if you have not. It's on Netflix. Now the next category of movies I'm going to talk about and show you um, are movies that I never owned before. These are brand new pickups. Uh, yeah, and a lot of these... All these movies were on sale, great deals. Um, there were a lot of great deals this year and I just had to pick up a lot of movies. First up is Sonic the Hedgehog. This is actually why this video came out so late. This uh, this one got uh, lost during shipping and delivery. This I ordered it in like mid-November and it just got delivered a couple days ago. So it took oh, like over a month or about a month for this to get delivered, but I haven't seen this yet. I'm really excited to check it out. Thank God they redesigned his look because his first design was ugly. Next up, Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Um, this is one of my favorite Christmas movies. Uh, I think it's really sweet. I think the animation is really good. And it's been a long time since I've watched it. So I am definitely going to be watching this uh, probably within the next week or so since Christmas is right around the corner. All right. Uh, the only TV show that I picked up for uh, Black Friday, Chernobyl. I just watched, finished watching this the other day. This is possibly one of the my favorite TV shows of all time. It might be my favorite, TV, not even favorite. I, I don't want to say favorite. It's probably the best TV show I've seen, though. This or Breaking Bad. But this show is so captivating and so disturbing and so gripping. The performances all around are fantastic. Um, it's terrifying. It's so scary that this actually happened. A lot of the stuff in the show actually happened. So if you can handle really difficult uh, subject matter 
uh, please check this uh, TV show out. It's only five episodes long. It's well worth your time. I also got The Mask of Zorro. Pretty excited to check that out. The one that I just got yesterday, Tenet. I saw this in theaters. This was the last movie I saw in theaters. Um, I'm really excited to check, rewatch this because in theaters, I could not understand like half the dialogue in the movie. All the sound effects and everything else, the, the score of the movie basically drowned out the dialogue. So I'm definitely going to have to watch this with subtitles on. But uh, I'll be doing that very soon because I really enjoyed that movie. All right. I also picked up Hobbs and Shaw from Fast and Furious Collection. Uh, really like that movie. Birds of Prey. Really enjoyed that as well. 1917 movie I think is a little overrated, but I still enjoy it and uh, probably looks amazing on 4K. Angel Has Fallen. Um, I own Olympus Has Fallen. I really enjoy that one. I have not seen the second movie, but I heard Angel Has Fallen is a good time. Plus it has Nick Nolte in it, and uh, that's got to be something. Step Brothers, a really funny movie. Um, it's been a while since I've watched it, so uh, probably watch that really soon with my fiance. And then finally, I picked up the two uh, newest Jumanji movies. I've seen the first one. Uh, I enjoyed it for the most part. And uh, I got the second one as well. I heard it's pretty, uh, pretty good, just same as the first one. So I think these are movies I'll have to watch with my fiance as well. So the rest of these movies in the uh, video are all movies that I upgraded to 4K. So these are movies I previously owned, had to upgrade on uh, up to 4K because I'm weird like that. I just need the best quality for some of my favorite movies. All right, so starting out, speaking of Martin Scorsese, Casino, uh, really enjoy this movie. Um, a lot of people compare it to Goodfellas. I think Goodfellas is better, but Casino, I've only watched it once, but I really enjoyed it. I also picked up my two favorite James Bond movies on 4K. Casino Royale is my favorite, but Skyfall probably looks amazing on 4K. Um, definitely due for a rewatch on these. One of my favorite uh, Disney movies, probably my favorite in recent memory at least, Moana. Uh, some of the most beautiful animation I've ever seen. And so in 4K, I bet this looks spectacular. Plus, it's one of my fiance's favorite Disney movies, so that's a plus as well. Whiplash, uh, one of the best movies of the past decade. Um, if you haven't watched Whiplash, go watch it. It's amazing. Highly recommend it. Um, probably didn't need this in 4K, but it was a, it was really cheap, so why not? District 9, one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, I bet this looks spectacular in 4K. Um, Peter Jackson uh, produced it, I think. So, you know, it looks pretty good. And the guy who directed this movie, Neil Blomkamp, he was supposed to make a Halo movie. Damn. That sucks. That sucks that we never got that, because if he would have made a Halo movie that looks like District 9, probably would have been amazing. So, that's really sad. Also picked up Predator, the original one. Uh, been a while since I've seen that. Due for a rewatch. Then I also picked up a bunch of 80s, or a couple 80s movies, 80s classics. Gremlins, I'll be watching this this Christmas. Um, one of my favorite Christmas movies. Don't say it's not a Christmas movie, because it is. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I also picked up The Shining in 4K. I heard this is one of the best 4K transfers. I'm really excited to check this out. I probably won't watch this until next October, just because this is uh, one of the best horror movies of all time. And so, when... I'm in the mood to watch a horror movie. It's usually around the October time. So, all right. I also picked up Fast and Furious 8 movie collection on 4K. This has all Fast and Furious movies from the first one up until the Fate of the Furious. So, this was actually on sale for a really good price. Um, I'm a big fan of these movies. I don't think they're great movies, but they are super enjoyable. And I'm due for a rewatch on a couple of these. It's been a while. Another reason why I picked up Hobbs and Shaw on that. So now I own all the Fast and Furious movies on 4K. I feel complete. Two of the movies that I was so excited to get on 4K. Um, the Town on 4K, one of my favorite movies of all time. 
and Mad Max Fury Road. These are both steel books, which I'm not the big steel book fan. Like if it's on steel book, I'm like, all right. But Mad Max Fury Road, the just the plain 4K case and everything is like 40 bucks for this movie. Um, the steel book probably goes for like 50 plus, 50 plus dollars. I got this for $15. I woke up one morning, I went on Best Buy, I have the app, and I was just scrolling through all their 4K movies that were on sale. And this was, it was like early in the morning, so I was one of, must have been one of the first people to find this. I purchased it right away for 15 bucks. I looked like an hour later on the app again, this was sold out. So I was so damn happy to get that on 4K. Um, just one of, the, one of the best movies of the past decade and probably looks amazing in 4K. I also got Unforgiven, uh, probably my favorite Western of all time. I'm really excited to check that out again. Two Christopher Nolan movies that I picked up on 4K. Inception, my favorite Christopher Nolan movie. I think it's his masterpiece. Uh, and The Prestige, super underrated. It's been a long time since I watched this, and I'm really, really excited to check it out on 4K. I also got Apocalypse Now. This is a pretty cool uh, set. It's got, oh, no. Oh. It's got, what, six discs? That's pretty awesome. Um, I've only seen Apocalypse Now once. I think I watched the re Redux, Redo version, and I wasn't the biggest fan of that version, so I think I have to watch the, well, this is the final cut, so I think I have to watch that one, and I'll probably enjoy it a lot more. <clears throat> a movie that I just rewatched like, last month on Blu-ray, but finally got released on 4K, and I'll have to rewatch it. Uh, pretty soon again. Total Recall, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger classic. Uh, some of the best practical effects. Uh, this movie is directed by Paul Verhoeven, a director that I think makes some of the most enjoyable, entertaining movies of all time. And this is definitely one of his best. I also picked up Planet of the Apes trilogy. This is, these are the most recent Planet of the Apes uh, movies. Um, Rise, Dawn, and War. Um, some of the best, uh, one of the best trilogies in recent memory. I really enjoy all these, and I think Dawn might be my favorite, but I don't know. Uh, once again, do for a rewatch on these movies. And on 4K, I bet they look amazing. The most recent Best Picture winner, Parasite on 4K. Um, really great looking movie. I heard this looks really good in 4K as well. One of the best slasher movies of all time that I picked up. Halloween on 4K. Um, I'm really curious to see how this looks on 4K. Um, this movie came out in, what, 1978, I think? I can't remember. I think it came out in 19... It's from the 70s, so really curious to see how this uh, holds up in 4K. I got a two-movie collection here, uh, two Best Picture winners, Gladiator and Braveheart, two of my favorite Best Picture winners. Um, yeah, I bet... These movies look amazing in 4K. This was actually a really good deal. Uh, I mean, two 4K movies, two Best Picture winners in 4K. Uh, I think it's originally like 30 something bucks, and I got it for like less than 20. So that was that was a necessary pickup. My favorite war movie of all time, Saving Private Ryan. Um, I am just really excited to watch this in 4K. I bet it looks amazing, especially. Uh, the first battle scene, the D-Day battle, and the last scene, or last battle sequence, I bet it looks amazing. All right. I also got John Wick 1 and 2. I already own John Wick Chapter 3 on 4K, so I just needed these two, and now I feel a lot better knowing that I got these two in 4K as well. Um, yeah, John Wick 1, 2, and 3, uh, another trilogy, uh, one of the best trilogies in recent memory, and I'm really excited for number four. I picked up four mcu movies on 4k um i got the first or i got the first avengers movie and avengers age of ultron on 4k um i already own infinity war and endgame on 4k so i just felt like i needed these two on 4k um i rewatch them pretty often so and i also picked up captain america winter soldier and captain america civil war on 4k um I, don't, I got these four MCU movies because these are the ones that I tend to watch the most. Um, I wasn't really going to get, you know, like Iron Man 2 on 4K because I haven't been, I haven't watched that movie in a long time. So 
those four movies I rewatch pretty often, and uh, I'm really excited to check them out in 4K. All right, so I really went all out for this one. I got all three original Star Wars movies on 4K, New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, best Star Wars movie, and, excuse me, Return of the Jedi on 4K. Um, my fiance and I, we just watched all the Harry Potter movies and the Fantastic Beast movies. We finished those, and so we need a new series to watch, a movie franchise to watch, and I'm thinking we're going to do Star Wars because she's only seen the, the sequel trilogy. Um, so she has not watched these yet, and what better way to watch them than in 4K? I also picked up, oh boy, the prequel trilogy, uh, Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith. It's been a long time since I rewatched these movies. Um, due for a rewatch, definitely. The only thing that sucks about this, Phantom Menace is the only one that came with a slipcover. I am a slipcover slut. I need my slipcovers. None, none of these Star Wars movies came with slipcovers except Phantom Menace. So, Best Buy, thanks. Thanks for sending me slipcovers, asses. Anyways, uh, yeah, prequel trilogy. Um, Got to rewatch those soon. And finally, I also picked up Solo Star Wars movie, 4K. I haven't watched it yet, so I can't really tell you too much about that. Rogue One. Um, I've only watched this once in theaters. Um, the last half is amazing. The first half is pretty sluggish, kind of hard to get through. But I bet it looks really good in 4K. And finally, Force Awakens on 4K. I already owned uh, Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker on 4K, so I just needed... To complete the trilogy with Force Awakens on 4K. So, yeah, I basically bought every single Star Wars movie on 4K, minus The Last Jedi and Rise Skywalker, which I already owned on 4K. So, I'm sorry, I'm a nerd. Now, the last two things that I picked up, and probably my favorite things that I picked up, well, at least one of them is my favorite things that I picked up, but I got The Hobbit trilogy on 4K. Now, I know I'm these movies were in my uh, top 10 most disappointing movies of all time video. But I'm really excited to rewatch these. And this includes the extended versions, which I've never seen. So maybe that'll help uh, with my enjoyment of these movies. Maybe I'll like them more. Maybe I'll hate them even more. I'm not sure. But uh, bet they look really good in 4K. Maybe? I don't know. Maybe they look more CGI like? All right. Last, but certainly not. In least, the Holy Grail, Lord of the Rings trilogy on 4K. This is the collector's edition. Look at this. This thing is immaculate. So, comes with all three movies, extended versions. Um, I'm about halfway through uh, Return of the King. I, um, Fellowship of the Ring and Two Towers were the first two movies I watched on my new 4K player. They look, they look so damn good. Compared to the Blu-ray, that Blu-ray looks like VHS quality compared to this 4K. And I actually started watching Return of the King last night on 4K. The second shot of the movie, I shit you not, I was sitting there, I was like, holy shit. Because the quality of these movies in 4K and the HDR, the color grading, whew, these movies look so damn good. And if I mean, Return of the King. I'm not even into the battle scenes yet of Return of the King, so I'm probably going to be blown away. But, yep, I got that. This collection also came with this, this little thing right here, this little pouch. And I bet you guys can guess what is inside this little pouch. The ring. Yeah, I got the one ring. Suck it, nerds. Yeah, everyone else? Yeah, you didn't get this. Just kidding. Um, but this is a really cool prop. Um, probably just going to leave it in this little pouch and leave it in the collector's edition case. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to wear it for the rest of the video because I can. Jesus, I got a big head. Oh, yeah. I feel badass <clears throat> and kind of nerdy, but anyways. Anyways, 
let's all just take a breath. That was that was a lot of movies. That was that was a lot. Whew. So thank you guys for watching. Um, if you got any movies or TV shows or anything Black Friday shopping, Cyber Monday shopping, let me know down in the comments what you picked up. I'm really uh really excited. Let me know what you thought of the video. Any feedback would be awesome. I feel kind of weird wearing this, but who cares? The video's almost done. Um, and I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I was really looking forward to making this video. And then a lot of these movies got delayed in shipping and stuff. So, But now that winter is here in Wisconsin, I'm going to be stuck inside a lot. So I'll be making more videos soon. So anyways, guys, we'll see you next time. And thanks for watching.